Hello everyone, Logan Keister here of No Type Botanica. Here enjoying the beautiful spring season as we come into the spring equinox. I've just been heading out to the woods a lot lately trying to harvest some of these early spring greens because as someone who likes to eat a lot of my own food that I either harvest or I grow myself or find in the woods and wild places, I've been kind of craving some nice spring greens for a long time because I've just been kind of doing a lot of like stored meats and potatoes and starches and things like that. And so getting a little bit greenery in the diet, this is the time to do it. So we're gonna start here with one of my favorite early time spring greens. Here we have cleavers. Its Latin name is Gallium Aperine. A really good uh, distinguishing characteristic of it is it has whirled leaves. So this leaves kind of come around the stem in a circle. You see that and it also has square stems so these stems if I put it between my fingers you can see it moves like a little on a 90 degree angle like that so cleavers is a really wonderful gentle lymphatic tonic so it's one that we use a lot for kind of getting nice mineral nutrition bringing in minerals into the body but it's a really specific for people who tend to get that lymphatic stagnation, you know, their neck starts to get a little bit stiff or maybe they get a little bit of lymphatic stagnation, it starts to like their armpits and their groin and wherever else you're having lymphatic stagnation in the body, you'll kind of notice that. And what I really like about this lymphatic tonic compared to other ones is it has a little bit of a moistening quality, which anyone who studied herbalism for long enough probably has realized that there aren't very many demulcent moistening herbs out there. So every time you can find one, it's really good. And this is one of the few lymphagog moistening herbs that I know of. So it's really excellent for people, especially who are kind of like thin and lean. I always kind of call them like deer people. You know, the kind of people who have like the long, elegant necks. They're very thin and dainty and elegant, but they kind of tend to get that like stiffness in the neck. And then I kind of get that a little bit sometimes. Not that I'm like that as elegant as a deer, but it's really wonderful because I feel like it works, especially when there's like Okay, yeah, you're getting the lymph moving, but it's also there's dryness and the dryness is causing it hard to make that lymph move. And so when you get that extra moistening effect, it helps to really gently move the lymph. And working with it, I'd say I'm not super big into cleaver's tincture because I really feel like it's a very gentle herb and it's an herb that's really you want to use in food like quantities. So usually with this, you know, here I got a whole bunch of it growing on the forest floor. So I'm just grabbing like big handfuls of this herb and you know I'd probably take like a quart jar and fill it about halfway full of cleavers finely chopped up and pour my hot water over it and let it sit you know for a few hours or even simmer it for a few hours um, or even you know just about like an hour 45 minutes would really be fine to really get the most out of it get those mineral nutrition out of there and get that nice lymphatic flare so Another thing I should mention too, it's not the best tea for, or a plant for eating raw. So they call it cleavers because it tends to cleave and like stick to things. It has this kind of, uh, they actually invented Velcro because when you look at cleavers underneath a microscope, you notice that there are these microscopic little hooking hairs that kind of like latch onto one another. And that's kind of how they invented Velcro. They saw that in cleavers. They're like, oh, we can make a synthetic product that'll do the same thing, create those like little interlocking hairs. So when you eat it raw, it kind of feels like that cat tongue effect on the back of your throat, kind of like, <laughs> this like sticks to the back of your throat. But once you hit it with some water first, it kind of helps to neutralize that effect and makes it a really wonderful spring tonic. Let me know if you all found that interesting. I'd love to hear what other uses you have for cleavers. Please comment below and message me or share anything you want with me and uh, hope to see you next time.